Hi, Marlena. It's so good to hear from you. I kind of look forward to your messages on Thursday. I'm going to miss it. Um, I feel so excited for you doing this exam. You've worked incredibly hard. You really deserve to hit this seven. You really do. Um, I mean, yeah, what can I say? You really, really deserve it. I feel very responsible. So I'm really going to go through this extra carefully for you um, just to make sure if there's anything we can pick up on that you can remember. But brilliant doing it in time. Absolutely fantastic. Really good work. So it's often said governments spend too much money on projects to protect wildlife, while there are other problems that are more important. Do you agree or disagree? Okay. So in most countries, pollution, poaching and continuous industrialization are major issues. Now, I've read this few, through a few times, and I know, um, I mean, I think it's amazing you know that word, poaching, because it's a difficult word, but um, poaching um, animals, I think you have to say this, because otherwise, like you think you have to. I know here you're saying have threatened natural habitats and animals, um, but I think we need to get this in right at the beginning. So most countries, pollution, poaching animals, and continuous industrialisations are major issues. Or if you don't want to put that there, um, are major issues affecting the countryside. Um, and so I wouldn't necessarily have that and furthermore there. Okay, a major affecting the countryside, uh, threatening. Either and have threatened or threatening an ING. I think you need this in here because otherwise I'm thinking poaching. Why is poaching an issue? It's like I haven't got the context. I need the context. And as soon as you put this here, affecting the countryside that gives me the context and then have threatened natural habitats and animals so that i think you do need that in there just to get the context but otherwise that first line is fantastic conservationists underline the importance of improved while it yeah brilliant her critics now critics discuss mm, you can't discuss that but you could have suggest or usually critics argue you, you, it's, you can't have discussed that. So suggest that uh, humans in underdeveloped nature should be helped instead. Very good. I believe both challenges might be addressed by the Intervention from Western Authorities and we'll emphasise this. Absolutely lovely. This just sounds so confident and natural. That's a very strong start. Lovely. The whole planet and its atmosphere is threatened by increasing environmental problems like acid rain, plastic pollution, toxic emissions. Very good. This um, vocab for the environment is so useful, isn't it? You've really got a hold on this. You really get this. Um, have, become in, uh, blah, blah, blah. have become endangered or even extinct. Uh, most animals suffer um, most animals suffer from this have become endangered or even extinct. I don't think you can say most animals are extinct in the same sentence. So I would put many. Many global animals ha suffer from these circumstances, have become endangered or even extinct. Yeah, okay, so go for many rather than most. Small point. Additionally, the probability is given that Sensitive natural rebalance, for example, food chains might be dangerously damaged, which might affect further species. Um, the sensitive natural rebalance. Okay. Don't use the probability is given. That doesn't work. Go additionally. It is probable that. Probable that. Or likely that. They're both okay. The sensitive natural rebalance, natural balance, not rebalance, natural balance, uh, for example, food chains might be damaged, dangerously damaged, which might also, um, might be dangerously damaged, which might also affect further species. Okay, let's just get this right. So additionally, it's likely that, I prefer this, it's likely that sensitive natural balance, food chains might be dangerously damaged. Um, yeah, which may also affect further species in the future, maybe. But you're absolutely fine. It's looking very good. Finnish scientists found that if 
you don't need a comma there because they found that it's continuous. If B is completely vanished from Earth, now you've got the past tense here. This is important. This is a really, um, remember this, okay? If this is the only thing you remember today, remember this, put it in pink. If found, if B's, now they can't be are vanished. You've put a passive there. Don't have a passive. Get rid of that. So if B's completely vanished, yeah, from the earth, past tense, uh, humans could not exist anymore. Wow. Uh, you need that time needs to go here. Could not exist anymore. That is terrifying. Goodness me. So past tense. If B is completely vanished from Earth, okay, five years after that event, comma, yeah, humans could no longer exist. Uh, and actually, I would you classic conditional would no longer exist is better there. I mean, you're right, could no longer because of the um, damage to the environment, but would is better in this conditional, okay? Past tense there in your example, yes, so keep it going in the past tense, but lovely conditional there. Therefore, it is um, from the utmost, we would say of the, an utmost has to have the, it's like a superlative, the most beautiful of the most utmost importance to install and fund conservation programs and promote ideas in order to save any wildlife form. Any, maybe every. Yeah, uh, very, very good paragraph, lovely. What I love is that you really push, you really, really go for it. However, human activists demand, you don't demand for, watch out, that is a mistake, okay? So we've got this one here, critics, discuss that, okay, so be careful, argue that. So if I put this in, just things to, like a takeaway from today, things to remember, that is important. And this is important. You demand something. Like you don't demand for, you just demand. Uh, okay, I demand a glass of wine. Maybe not in the morning. <laughs> um, okay, human activists demand better supportive uh, inventions. Better supportive inventions, into neglected and deprived nations, interventions, good. Uh, instead of better and more supportive. Um, instead of financing more animal programs, the main argument for this lies, just spelling there, in the morally and ethically... Uh, now, not adverbs, moral adjective and ethical adjective. Yeah, you've got an adverb there with a Y, watch out. Aspect of valuing human life over animals. Developing countries, especially experiencing poverty, disease, and lack of education, must be supported. Now, watch out here. Developing countries especially, either if you have who experience disease and must be supported is okay, but this is lovely. You're going to the ING. You don't need the AND. So let me read it to you. Developing countries, especially experiencing poverty, disease, and lack of education, must be supported. Yeah, so the commas are really important there. Developing countries, especially experiencing poverty, must be supported. This is your main sentence. Developing countries must be supported. That's your main sentence. This is a rather lovely relative clause in there. Yeah, so that's how it works. You don't need the and. A recently published report indicated that um, you don't need the that, the comma, same as the one before. Uh, due to poor living conditions, the mortality rate has grown. Watch out, mistake there. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Has grown. Mortality rate. It's not children plural. It's mortality rate is that verb. Has grown up to 60%. Subsequently, there's strong argument to keep Western investment. Um, good. Keep Western investment for or... Um, allocate would be better Western investment to this problem okay so keep something for something or allocate to just write down a little mini correction list tonight that's all you need to do just write down a little correction list because they're um, quite important things these to conclude both challenges are protecting both challenges are protecting yeah should be major key points in every government's plan good uh, 
if bold steps are not taken as predicted the first oh that's very good to end on that conditional like that really really nice okay so super essay little corrections this is important so you put an adverb with a noun which you can't you've got to have an adjective with a noun morally and ethically would go with a verb uh, that's just a very complex sentence so that's just the how it should run watch out that watch out that's just a noun verb agreement but check that when you're doing your little checking okay uh, but very very good work on the conditionals you've really put some great grammar in there and you've answered the question very fully well done uh okay here we go class one we've got uh yay i like these these little um pictures here we go olive flow chart uh, olive oil extraction separated in seven individual steps before the product can be sold good overall several process steps are necessary beginning with free collecting until the final product is ready for consumption good excellent um extraction separated into i'd say actually seven individual steps or stages is another word you could use here before the British product can be sold. Good. Initially, olives are hand-picked from trees before they undergo cleaning treatment by washing the fruits in cold water. The next step involves the outsourcing. Good word. Um, of poor quality. Uh, now, the separation. Outsourcing is when I buy something from somewhere else. So I can make olive oil at home but I need to outsource the machinery for example get it from somewhere else so you want to have the separation of poor quality with the help of machinery so a machine or machinery in general before the product is squeezed into a huge pot good that's what I'm looking for is passives yes please so I want passives yes lovely I'll underline it yes good depending on the end product uh, olive paste or olive stones a special treatment is required um oh olive stones okay um olive mm, i'd call them yeah it's not really paste it's olive oil i mean uh, they've used strange words there um i'd use i'd use eating olives it's okay to use your own words. It's actually quite important to use your own words, especially when that picture is a bit strange. I'd say eating olives. Special treatments required. The olives are stored good in hold bags. Ooh, in order to split liquids from firmer concrete. After that, olives will be separated. Very nice tenses. Uh, and press out water and gain the end product. Mm. Press out water and be transformed into, here we go, the end product of actual. So again, watch out that, that's that same problem. Adverb, yeah, actual is the adjective, not actually. Uh, actually, the L-Y is for the verbs, okay? But very good answer, really, really good. Finally, can be transported, good, okay. Um, how many words have you got? One, five, four. If you had a second more, you might put, you, you've got here um, the next step, depending on, okay, but you could add in, in these little ones, you could add in, uh, consequently, uh, obviously before that you might have after which, it's quite a nice way of joining it together, after which, brr, nice sentence, you could have um, the next stage in the process is the extraction of Okay, so don't forget these little words uh, which we're using to just indicate the stages. So it's really those stages and again those lovely passives which you've got. If you've got a map by any chance, again passives is what we're after. Um, but you're absolutely going to be amazing. I know you are. Um, don't have a crazy night tonight. Wait till tomorrow. Um, but and really just show what you know. Okay. Um, any tiny, my tiny recommendation, sometimes you're, you get too complicated. Better to be um, slightly less complicated and accurate than get too complicated and get confusing, okay? But it's been so amazing working with you and just let me know how it goes. I'll be thinking of you. Really take care.